All right. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another talk around the show where we meet cool people, cool trucks, talk about them, walk around, and see what they're all about. All right. Today we are with Mark from Five Angels Outdoor. How's it going? Awesome. Thanks for coming by. This is I'm Mark. This is Colt. We'll take you around our 2021 Chevy Colorado CR2 Bison with the AEV uplift. Man, that's a mouthful. I know, right? They must have had to print you out two uh, those uh, dealership papers. <laughs> All right, so we'll start off in the front and sort of let you know what we got, we have going on. You know, as you can see, I have plenty of lighting up front to help me off on the trail. Uh, Baja Designs is pretty much the company that I've used for my lighting. I got two LP6s. I got a big 20-inch light bar up front. And I also have the uh, XLR racers uh, in a fog light replacement there with the AEV brackets to hold them them in. Wow, yeah, you really crammed those in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, it's great that they fixed and, and it made those brackets. It made it really easy. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, obviously, right here we have a worn winch. It's a it's a it's an eight thousand pound winch, uh, the XP uh, XP eight, and. Uh, and it, it, it's helped me. I've used it to get out of a one sticky situation. So it's like you, when you have it, you can use it. When you need it, you have it. That's exactly what, that's the backbone of all this, you know, be prepared. And this whole bumper, this is this is all steel too, huh? Yep, so this is, this is uh, AED spec uh, factory, but this low tube center section here is part of the uplift package from AED. So it just gave, gives you this extra bull bar, which I've used to mount. Um, but this isn't stock; it, it comes from them extra. But it is a it's a it's a steel, of course. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Coming around the side here, we have the the AEV snorkel. You know, what I've done here is I've added the Cyclone pre filter, which helps it. You know, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome on video. Colt, thank you very much. Thank you, Colt. Uh, Colt is the uh, the security. He's going to make sure there's no raccoons in the area. Yeah, so this, this helps out with filtering out dust and everything. And also, I've sealed the air box and the engine. I do have Baja Design ditch uh, uh, lights here. It helps me see at night, you know, into the ditches off to the side. Yeah, Baja Designs, they've been... They came on the scene. They, they've been leading it ever since. They have really... Put a quality light out there. Yeah, the lighting, the the quality of the lighting uh, has been perfect. I went with Baja Designs on all the lighting, and it's all wired into an S Pod HD Bantam, and uh, and it's really it's great because I can take all the wiring directly into the engine compartment, have it into the into the unit there. Yeah. I'm only running one wire into the actual through the through the firewall into the cab. So That's. That's all you can ask for too. You want to keep it simple. You don't want a million wires, especially direct 12 volt running through your dashboard somewhere. You know what I mean? And uh, up on top here, I have the Princey rack system, both on the cab and on the on the cab. And so the, the thing about the putting a rack on the Shelby Colorado is unlike a Toyota, they uh, they don't pre-drill holes. So I had to personally drill holes oh, through really? my brand new truck through the roof. And the only thing I could what I was worrying about constantly was putting too much pressure so I would go through the headliner. So that in itself was very stressful. Plus the fact that there's a boron steel in this front area in the Colorado. So I probably went through about $100 worth of drill bits and, uh, and it wasn't fun. <laughs> That's when you go to Harbor Freight and you just start cooking through them. Exactly. You don't use your good drill bits on that one. Exactly. One of the most visible things you can see here, obviously, is I've had the vehicle wrapped. It's typically a desert desert sand metallic paint job. But what I wanted to do, I'm down here in Florida, and uh, you know, with the trails are notoriously tight, so I had this vehicle wrapped by Redline Designs, so I could, if I'm going to get uh, pinstriping or whatnot, we're going to pinstripe the wrap and not the actual paint. Yeah, and that's where we are right now. We're at the. Uh... We're at the Redline Design booth over here at the uh, Southeast Overland Expo. He's one of the uh, the vehicles that they had over here at his booth. So the, the AEV uplift from AEV itself, it actually, one of the things that they do is they put these high mark fender flares. They do a lot of cutting in the wheel wells. And with that, 
come with the 35 inch tires. These are the, I opted for the KO2s versus the KM3s, but it's a, it's a 17 inch wheel. These are the, the Crestone wheels from AEV with the, with the BFG KO2s. And it's a, it's, the Bison has about two inch lift um, versus a stock. Um, uh, ZR2 and AEV as part of the uplift package put on um, the GM leveling kit up front. So it's leveled out front. And, yeah. And then underneath it's fully protected, you know, with skid plates and bash plates across all the major components. Yeah, and it, it sits pretty nice. Yeah, you got skid plates along everywhere that you need it. Definitely, they are definitely keeping you up. This is definitely not just a sticker package, you know? Definitely not. It's great on the trail. And, uh, you know, right here as we walk around the, right around the back, you know, because of the larger tire uh, and, and wanting good ground clearance, I've moved the tire up to the roof from the stock position under there and eventually may do some future things, maybe a rear tire carrier swing out or something like that in the book, we'll see. Yeah, and for these trucks, especially like the lower ones like the Z71, their spare tire hangs like pretty low, right? Oh yeah, oh it's, yeah, definitely. I see a lot of people where it even sits kind of at like an angle. So as you're driving, your contact patch is just collecting all that dirt and just getting all beaten up by whatever's on the road. Yep. And with this, this is a diesel. So one of the things that I did was I relocated uh, as part of a factory option, relocated how the um, how the exhaust tip comes out to the side because stock is normally straight out. Which I've really? seen plenty. I've seen plenty of ZR2s with crushed tailpipes from from rock challenges. Yeah, you're gonna scrape your bumper. That's just part of it. Yep. yep exactly. But, uh, as we walk through the back here, obviously I, I have some more Baja design lights. I have the S2 Pros as a chase light. Wow. Which, uh, which works out great. I mean, in, in, here in Florida even, we get some nice dusty trails and I've used them. It allows the vehicles behind you to see where you are through the dust cloud. So it's really helped out a lot. And, uh, and then we're, we're all the way to the back. Um, you know, I have the ARE. Um, camper top it's a v-series top and um, you know this allows me to keep things stored in here and keeps it dry and organized uh, and then really as we move into the back you know I have a decked drawer system and um, with that I have my storage it's all organized and I've mounted a, um, a Dometic 50 CX 55 on an Alucab slider, which allows me to pull it out and angle it so I can still get into the fridge perfectly fine. Really? Uh, and, and, and not have to worry about anything. It opens fully and it really it really helps out, you know, on these camping trips. That's pretty cool. That's, that's one of the things you really don't think about because having a deck system like this, that really is sweet, but you wouldn't be able to open up your fridge then. Yeah. So this would just, this just like lifts up and then just slides back like that? It sure does. So it's pretty simple really just a position up and then, and then slides back it yeah. slides out of the room man can't beat that the simplicity and then what's this you have a little water setup yeah, back I mean, here right here i have a, a 3.8 gallon water port it's a sprayer i pressurize it with my onboard air and it gives me just the spray capabilities it's pretty pretty simple pretty easy yeah, yeah you know whatever i need it for for a water perspective um, and then also really in the deck system they come with these ammo cans and what i've actually done is i've mounted an arb twin air compressor back here in the ammo can i run power from the battery to a blue sea marine uh, fuse block and then that fuse block some of the outlets go to this blue sea uh, switch this blue sea panel where i have a 12 volt receptacle and I have some um, USB ports. When I'm driving and the, and the vehicle's under power, I can run the fridge right off that 12 volt. And then I've actually taken the chuck from the uh, air compressor and put it out here. So it allows me quick and easy access to be able to use it for whatever I need. That's really crazy. And that's all the information you need right there too. That, that little display that shows you the voltage and whatnot. Yep. So yeah, once, I, once you power it on, turn the switch. It shows you how much voltage is in the battery, just to keep an eye on it, and uh, and works out great. Wow, very cool. So this is 
all ready to go. You have your power, you got, you got your water, you got your food, your supplies. Yep, exactly. So I can hit the trail at any time and not worry in those sense. And really from this side, it's pretty much the same. I do have a, an ARB uh, awning off the back here. It's just a small five footer to grant some shade if I'm out on the trail and want to take a break. But that, that folds out pretty well and you just stake it down and uh, and then I have my uh, my traction boards there for you know some of this sugary sand that we have in Florida. It's always good. If I don't want to break the winch out, I can at least shove those traction boards under my tires and help me get out of a sticky situation. Yeah, we got uh, we got plenty of sugar sand here in Florida. We uh, if you want to be deceived and all of a sudden start sinking and absolutely no obstacle, this this is the state yeah. forward. That's for sure. Yeah, exactly. It really is. Um, from, a, from an interior perspective, it's all about uh, control. You know, I have in this cent in the center console, I've mounted the Molly panels off the center console from Valhalla Off Road, which allows me to mount different things on each side. Uh, you can see I have a, a radio. I have the iPad holder over there. I have um, you know my my winch controller here, and then in the center, it, that's that's what I was alluding to earlier about my Spod Bantam. Uh, you know that allows me to control all my lighting and uh, and my compressor power right from one central location. Wow! But otherwise, the interior is a little stock, little ram mounts for cameras or whatnot. So yeah, that's about it for the AUD Bison. I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me show you around. All right, awesome. If uh, people want to see more of you and more of the truck, where can they go? Yeah, well, I have a, a YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook for Five Angels Outdoor. Uh, my last name is uh, Polish for Angel, and I have uh, three daughters, my wife and myself, so we're, there's five of us, so we're five angels. What's well, better than that? Yeah. Awesome. Thank awesome. You. Thanks a lot, man. You have... I appreciate the other one. Cool. Hey, bud. Hello.